Hey guys, I am uh, getting ready to go out and do some cutting. I have, uh, if you watch the channel, um, I've got a big oak that's been down on the ground for a couple years. And uh, big, big oak. So um takes a minimum of a 28 inch bar to get from side to side at this point. Before it was uh, taking about a 36 inch bar to get through. Um, and every time I get close to the ground, it's hard not to touch the ground. And it's all dirty and nasty. It's nasty on the inside. It keeps dulling chains. I've wrecked three chains so far. I've had enough of it. I hit dirt. Dulled that chain immediately. Son of a bitch. So, we're going to try this out. This is the longer 24-inch um, bar that I have been using. I've actually been using... This has probably about 50 or maybe more 50 to 60 cuts on it in big, you know, 24-inch. Took up the whole bar. Um, and this is how it looks after that. So now, granted, it's it hasn't seen like a huge, like massive work day or something, but the the paint on it is it's it's staying on there. It's nice. All right. Um, so I'm gonna try out. They sent me uh, a carbide chain. Let's see if I can get a good close up here. Yeah, we've all seen the carbide tips there, and um, carbide cutters on them. We're going to see how long that lasts, how long that holds up. From what little I know about them, this will be my first time ever using a carbide chain. Uh, of course, they're going to cut slower. Of course, the, you, you're, they're just, they just are. That's part of the game. Um, but uh, they last forever. Like, I mean, they stay sharp, as sharp as they are. They last for, for a really long time, from what I know. And uh, Kevin, uh, Mr. Hanger One... He's down in Australia, and he put one of these three things through a grueling test. He went through 10 tanks of fuel in their, they've got some very hard wood. Very, they got like iron wood and stuff, and iron butt, and <laughs> you know, all kinds of hard wood. And there to the end, it was still cutting decent. And, um, uh, and I do know that to sharpen these, you pretty much... I think you have to have uh, a grinder, like an actual electric grinder, um, probably with a diamond wheel. Maybe a stone would do it. I don't know. But that's enough for this. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the wood, and we'll see how she cuts. It's the 562 XP. <laughs>
you can see the strips there where I cut directly into the ground and look at that that's sandy clay I'm happy with my other chains they would have been dull the first time I did that so that's that's pretty nice that's very nice so let's go ahead and while we're rolling here let's see what this big boy will do So this will be my first time running this Poland Pro 655. I do know that it likes to get warmed up, so it doesn't want to be put right straight in the wood. Let's see if it fires.
off with the uh, carbon chain, carbide chain, whatever you want to call it. Well, I'm certain it dulled a little bit because I straight hit the ground um, a lot. Now, Michael, he's the guy uh, that runs this longer company. And uh, he sent me a message and basically... He said there's thousands of Chinese companies making chainsaw chains. And uh, I guess I probably believe him. But uh, he said that uh, they're very different, all of them and stuff. But this one right here, this company, where he gets his stuff, I think the factory is actually called Longer, literally. Um, and he just resells them, gets them out there to the public. Yeah, it definitely dulled. But it's still cutting you know you really got to push it through it's not a very fast cutting chain that's for sure and um but he said that uh the some of the old engineers that worked for carlton hey there's a caterpillar uh they're actually working for this longer company but anyways this right here i mean i don't know what y'all are thinking if you ever cut dirty wood like this i mean i'm straight digging it into the ground sometimes i'm trying not to but i got to damn things stuck down in the ground so i got to do it to cut it and it's still cutting you know at this point we got good solid oak to work with so i'm going to stop cutting off those donuts like that um I love, some of you guys have mentioned that i should sell those donuts uh you know because it's got the hollow center it was all rotted out in the middle um, I should sell those on Facebook Marketplace or something like that. If somebody wants to make a table out of it, they'll pay good money and blah, blah, blah. Um, I might be able to sell a few of them, but um, my experience with stuff like that on Facebook Marketplace, it's harder to sell than you think. And yeah, let's say I cut 10 of those things and I get $40 a piece out of them. 
that's, you know, great. That's $400. Well, how many weeks of dealing with dumbasses on Facebook Marketplace am I going to have to spend to get my $400? How many hours am I going to have to waste dealing with people who are dumb as a bag of hammers and I just don't want to deal with it. Uh, now, if I had a guy that made tables and stuff, I, I could give him a call up and say, Hey, Frank, I got some cookies for you. You want them? Yeah, sure. I'll take four of them. Come on over, Frank. I'll be ready at noon. But it don't work that way. These jokers want you to be ready whenever they're ready. And whenever they're ready is about the time I'm going to bed. <laughs> or whatever. You know, there's all kinds of stuff like that. So, I just roll them down there into that ravine. Got to fill it up anyways. But if you're close to Atlanta and you want to stop by and get one of these things, you come on by. <laughs> Give me a holler. But this right here now, um, at this point, that's good solid wood. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably get Andreas to come over here one of these days whenever he's got his uh, skid steer out. He can just pick up this whole thing. And drive it around up up front so that I can cut it up and make some firewood out of it stuff like that but you know all of that up to this point you know it was rotten in the middle but now we got a good good chunk of wood that we can either turn into firewood or do some serious testing with but uh, either way we got it and um, yeah I like that chain I mean it's still cutting check this out Okay, maybe not so much. So at this point I am having to dog them pretty hardcore and I need to get it sharpened, but I wouldn't I wouldn't have been able to do two cuts before with a regular chain, so I'm happy. But uh yeah, I'll take it into the shop and have them sharpen it with their grinder. Cause I don't think there's any way I can do that by hand. Anyways, check you later.